This is Mike Arrington with TechCrunch, taking a look at Bleco, a new search engine. Bleco is uh, a full search engine, indexing the entire web. Uh, their goal is uh, to compete with the big guys, with Google, uh, Bing, and Yahoo. Uh, but they have some really, uh, some really interesting features, and their approach is unique, uh, which I think uh, gives them possible chance uh, in a very competitive space. Uh, the, the first thing you know about Bleco is that their idea is that when you search that you will want to uh, refine your search uh, maybe vertically into a certain group or t uh, of sites or type of sites um, and refine it in other ways as well. Uh, and I'll just give some visual examples. So I did a search for Dell uh, and what we see is here relatively normal, standard, uh, very familiar looking uh, search results. Uh, for Dell. This is 1 to 20 of 156,000 websites. Um, it's automatically sorted by relevance. Um, if you'd like, I can do a sort by date by using what they call a slash tag. This is one of the built-in ones, and this is now re uh, reformatted the results uh, by date, and the date is, um, they grab this by looking at the metadata uh, around the content that they're indexing to try to figure out the date that it is um, that it's been uh, published. Uh, but there are other types of slash tags as well, and I can use some or all of them. So I can just go uh, do a search for Dell and then add uh, a slash tag uh, news and uh, get uh, news results uh, from a variety of sites. Um, instead, I can go to, uh, let's see, I'll do a search, let's say, for um, uh, Mel Gibson. <clears throat> And here the Wikipedia is the top result, uh, but if I want, I can then do a search for slash gossip and look at uh, gossip sites. So TMZ is the first result, uh, etc. If I want to get away from pure gossip, I can instead go with uh, slash news and see slightly different results. Slash politics, and again. Um, you can also do a search using, uh, they're still slash tags, but they're API slash tags. And so in this case, uh, let's say I do a search for Dell, but then I want to search for it uh, using the Amazon API, uh, in which case I can see Dell results uh, just from Amazon. Um, or differently, I could do slash uh, YouTube, which I type in, or I could just click down here and see videos about Dell or including Dell uh, from the YouTube uh, API. Same with Twitter and same with Flickr. I can also make my own slash tags. Um, you have to sign in for this, so I've created an account and uh, I've created a slash tag here uh, called slash TechCrunch. Now this is just a personal slash tag, it doesn't work for everyone, um, but I've added in the major TechCrunch web properties and so I can do a search for let's say Apple Antenna slash TechCrunch and see results just from the sites uh, that, um, that we control uh, here. And then I can also add, let's say, slash date, and switch from relevancy to date, and, uh, and see stuff that's uh, much more recent. Um, if I go back to the home page, if I like somebody else's slash tags, I can then follow them. Uh, so uh, here I am on Mike, one of the co-founders pages, and uh, let's see, he has uh, something here for SV Angel. So he's added as many of the SV Angel websites. This is Ron Conway's Venture Fund, uh, and uh, he can do a search just on those sites. Uh, not particularly useful, but you can at least see uh, how it works. I can um, subscribe to the RSS feed for this, so if he makes changes, I'll see it, or I can just follow it, which I've done there. Um, some more uh, interesting ones, Rich uh, Skrenta, another co-founder, uh, he has, in some of his tags, he had uh, one that I thought was interesting. He <clears throat> looks at just, where is it? He looks at just, here it is, uh, just uh, left-leaning blocks. Um, and he has Huffington Post, Daily Coast, and others in here. And I can do a subscription. Uh, I can follow it that way. Um, and he also has right-leaning blogs here as well. Newsbusters, Hot Air, uh, etc. And I can subscribe to that. 
when I subscribe to them, um, it makes it easier for me to then do searches on it. So let's say um, uh, I do a search for Barack Obama. And then uh, if I want to, these are just regular results. And then I have the, the, the slash tags that I'm following. I want to just see what Republicans are saying about Barack Obama. And here I have the comprehensive argument against Barack Obama. Uh, Michelle Malkin post under that. I can then go by date as well and see much more recent stuff. Uh, it's, um, it's a really, really easy way to get past a lot of the spam and get directly to the results you want. And I think that um, heavy search users might really like this. Blecko also is very transparent with how they rank websites and they'll show you all the data that they have. So let's say I do a search for TechCrunch and um, the top result is TechCrunch.com, which is great. Uh, I can um, click on SEO and I can see some of the data behind uh, TechCrunch that Bleco uses to index it. Uh, so they show 782,000 inbound links. They show um, distribution by the links by state and country. Um, there's additional data. Um, the domain is TechCrunch.com. It was last crawled 14 hours ago. It was first seen by them 114 days ago. It's an IP address. It was found by Rich Sprinta. Um, I don't know what that means exactly. He's one of the founders. Um, there's a DMOZ description, etc. Um, but I can also see links, inbound and outbound links to the site. I can see duplicated content. These are people and websites that seem to be stealing the content. Oh, this is redirecting. Oops, not sure what I did there. That might have been a bug. Um, SEO duplicated content. No, oh, there's something's wrong there. A few minutes ago, this actually showed uh, dozens of sites that appear to be just grabbing um, content wholesale from us, um, and there are a number of other tools as well. Um, this is um, something that's really interesting for people looking to optimize their sites for SEO. They can see exactly how they're doing and how um, how Bleco sees them. Something that, that's kind of data that uh, Google has always hidden um, from everyone. And uh, you can guess that Google looks at a lot of this stuff, but um, they're never very open about it. Uh, Bleco actually thinks that um, by showing this data, um, sure, they'll get people who try to optimize their sites for it, but that... Um, It'll actually uh, reduce spam over the long run by being very open with how they how they view it. Um, that's it for now. The site's going to uh, go into private beta shortly uh, and open up uh, to the world very soon.